from the Bright Idea people at Lance Larkin. Welcome to the Brew Express how-to video. Welcome to the Brew Express how-to video. My name is Bill Spencer. I'm the inventor of the Brew Express. I'm proud today to show you our newest models. They come in different colors and different sizes. We'll be showing you today how to install the Brew Express, how to use the Brew Express, and how Brew Express works under warranty. For those of you with an existing Brew Express, we're going to show you how you can easily upgrade to the newest model. So let's get started. All Brew Express models universally install the same, whether your model is a BE112, BE110, or BE104. For upgrading to a newer model Brew Express, go to Chapter 9 for additional instructions. While reading the manual, we recommend that you check the list for parts that you may need for installation, all of which should be easily available at your local hardware outlet. First of all, we highly recommend you hire a licensed contractor for your Brew Express installation. We also strictly recommend that you use the manuals for your installation. And finally, locations. You can locate your Brew Express in many locations. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to install the Brew Express in an existing home. After you've unpacked your Brew Express, here's the next step. So our next step, after we've fully removed the coffee maker from the box, is removal of the set finish screws that lock it into the wall from the rough end box. So you'll see we've already removed one out of four screws, and now we'll do this one. And then now we need to separate the rough end box, which is your installation box, from the coffee maker. Simply by holding the coffee maker here firmly, putting your palm on the back, you can separate and pull away the two boxes. This is our installation template. It's provided in every Brew Express box. It's a great item because it's going to give you the best guide to install your coffee maker. As you can see, it's showing the rough in box and how it fits right inside between your studs. Most studs are 16 inch on center. The template itself is kind of nice because it has the same width and same height as the coffee maker. So if you want to locate where you want to place the coffee maker, this is your best guide. Not only your guide for installing the rough in box, but locating where you want to install the coffee maker. So right now, we're going to place it where the homeowner desires to have their coffee maker installed. They told us initially they thought about putting it on the countertop, but they thought it might be easier if we placed it above. So it could easily be installed above a backsplash. Because of its height, it's able to fit right underneath the cabinet. So now that we know the proximity of the coffee maker to be installed, and we've got the template and we've figured out that it can be installed easily above that backsplash on this retrofit, we're, we're going to pull it away. And now we have to check to make sure our power's off and that, it, that there is a stud cavity in there that fits properly. And we need to check and see if the power is on right now. As you can tell, the power is on and we must turn it off. So now that we've turned off the power, we're going to check and make sure again that it is off. So our indicator says it is off. Now we'll remove the wall plate and we'll check which side of the stud the outlet is bounded to. So we'll look by prodding the screwdriver in and it freely goes in right here so we know there's no stud mounting the outlet to this side. The outlet, the, the stud is now on this side. So in obvious respects, if construction is, is standard, is 16 inch on center is the normal framing pattern. So we can measure from this side of the stud all the way over 16 inches and place a mark. Just like so. So now we'll be able to line up the template prospectively and you can see right here where it says line this up with the edge of a stud. We'll be able to place this right here. We take a pencil and we mark inside the slot where the cutout is all the way around. This will provide us an easy cutaway to install the rough in box. And with a half inch variance that you've got, you don't have to be exact on your cut. You will still come out looking like a professional. Alternately, another way to locate your stud is using a stud finder. 
by simply just placing it on the wall and scrolling it until it gives you the proper mark and indication. Now that we've done our marking on where we're going to install the coffee maker and the cutout, it's my first suggestion, because it's an existing home, you have to be sure that there's no other obstructions inside that wall cavity. We never know what's inside, so to do so, and to make sure that we don't have any difficulties with the installation, we're going to cut a small hole right here and place our hand in there to feel if there's anything inside. Now that I've made sure that there's no obstructions inside this wall cavity, typically what I like to do is get my measuring tape in there and measure how far the inside stud is to make sure my alignment of my line, everything is dead on. And you can, and right now I'm going to place a mark and I can see it's three and a half inches away. And I just wanted to be sure that my guesswork is, is right on the nut. There you are, three and a half and three and a half. So we know the template is right on. Now we've got the hole, we're going to do a test fit, make sure it fits. Boy, it sure does. Okay, and now we're ready to hook up the power. So first off, we're going to do the obvious and hook it up to this power outlet right here by removal of the outlet and wiring across. Then, we'll remove these two junction screws to remove this panel so we can hook our hard wire into the rough-in box. To do so, first, you're also going to want to provide a stress relief connector. It's available at most hardware stores. So we'll need to remove these two screws. Remove the panel. Place in the stress relief connector for your wire. And then we're ready to wire.